everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. It is Wednesday with a forecast of rain. Hump day. Hump day. You know what's weird? We I went and filled in last night on the co-ed team bowling. Whenever uh, on Gerald's team, he bowls with no men. Whenever one of us, if they have somebody miss out, we go. Right. And I noticed when we got through at about, what, 830 or so, all them young kids coming in. And I mean college kids, 25, getting ready. And getting but it, it's a dollar puppies, game. Two dollar yeah. game. Two dollar games on, yeah. But what I'm going is, you know, but two dollar buckets of beer or, uh, you know, drinks are cheap, blah, 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 blah. And I went and I sat there as we were finishing up and I was looking at them and I was like, oh, that used to be us right there. Tuesday night we'd go out and drink and do whatever and get up Wednesday morning and balls on the wall if we had to get up and play a tournament or just work. And I now, mean, uh, I didn't play but two nights a league. Y'all played eight. Yeah, we played every night. Every night. Back, but I, I was looking at that and I was going, we talked and I went, now Thursday nights are our drinking nights. Really, that we sit up there and we drink and we bowl. That's our, that's my one night to really just. And Friday morning, dude, it takes me to lunch to function. Well, I can say that that's because y'all start at three. I agree. That's the day. I have no trouble on Friday, but I don't get there until about 5.30. Yeah. So I'm two and a half hours behind y'all, which is perfect. And I was like, does that, if I drink more, easy. If I drink more, would I be accustomed to it more, you think? I could get up a little, if, I, I was just thinking. This. I don't think you get accustomed to it. It just ends up taking you more to get there. Whew. I just I I just looked at those twenty five year olds and I went, that used to be us. We could do that. And now I'm pushing fifty and I go. My thought when I got home after bowling was, you know what I found on YouTube yesterday? How to get my, my shoulder kinda loosened up and how to do I've been doing that this morning for fifteen minutes. Finding these shoulder stretches so I can get my shoulders back to Freaking getting old. Getting old, man. Getting. I'm old. <laughs> uh, it's it's one of those deals of you're always looking for the next exciting thing when you're young. I, yep. <clears throat> and as you get older, you've done all those things. So they... You know, yeah, and at some point, you you love softball, and at some point, it was a beating to get up and put your cleats on and go play. Totally agree with that. <clears throat> so the the fun just just finally just wore out. Bowling will not lose that because it ain't. But that's strength. that's all you have left. You don't golf twice a year. You know. So that's really your only go to compet for competitiveness. Right. I have that and the gym. Now the gym I can I enjoy because it's like the bar now. I really enjoy that. I love being in there and, and making myself work out. So it's kinda like my bar. Why don't you just drink while I'm working out? There you go. <laughs> there you. you go. All right, man, let me just say so, this. So okay, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. So I get up this morning. Cause that's where I was just to go. When, when Brooks gets up and I don't go back to bed, I'll watch me some YouTube videos. Right, right. Because I'm trying to grow my hair long enough to do the pompadour. Okay. Either the slick one or the one kind of like, kind of like I'm almost getting to here. Right. But as you see back here, it's not long enough to hold it, hold the weight now. Correct. Not yet. Because I have a cowlick. Cowlick right there. So how in the, I sent you the picture right. of street justice. Right. My hair was long and fluffy and a and the beard. Uh, horrible ass beard. Which looked good. And I've never grown a beard until right. then. Right. This is the longest my hair has ever been since you've known me. Right. It is. 
I don't know that in between stage. That in between stage, and I, I think it's my OCD of there, uh, need, yeah. needing clean cut, needing to look nice, and it drives me bonkers. That that is it. You so now I'm like, how do I cut this a sh little shorter, but then do the pompadour over it? Come, I, <sighs> I think if you can, it, you just said it. It's the OCD of wanting. Man, I, I've always had my hair cut short. I've always done this, and you get to that two weeks or whatever you do, and go. Uh, yeah, I, it's it's tough for me. For me, it took. I wore a hat when it well, when I first started. When I get up and do, I go. Ah, eat. Put and, your hat on, and that's what you should do. Just wear the <clears> hat because you can't fix it. Just like me, because when I had to get it, and it was here before it got way down to here, all in one length. It would, you just fuck, just put a hat on. Don't even worry about now, it. Now, like it's fixed today, I'm okay once I get out because I'll forget that it's not quite long enough. But while I'm at home and I turn around and I look in the mirror and go, <laughs> I can't hardly deal with that. <laughs> what if somebody looks at me and goes, at my hair. Oh, that's going to bother me. So it, that is that is a, that's a good deal about how people like you said, and we had talked about how people walk in the gym when people that are out of shape walk in the gym. Yeah. And they're afraid people are gonna look at them. I feel that way with my damn hair. But don't you see the end goal? And can't you go around that and go, hey man, I'm just growing it out. Just wear the hat, or just know that it's it's gonna be. It know that it's gonna bother you. Because I think it looks. It's bothering just, me right now. If you'll just let it grow. It's getting there. Just let it go. I'm let going go. to let it grow, let, let it grow, go. let it grow, till February and 22 or 23 or 24 that day. And if I don't like it then, then I'm going to go, I'm not going to cut it back short. Oh, I, the flip. I, I, I got it. I thought you were going to grow it. Not the, 20, like, 23. That's going to be really the day long. Of, it's going to be really long. Uh, if it's not where I want it then, then I'm going to hopefully go to... They, they, the same thing in a shorter style, but not back to short with the flip. I, you know, I want to try, I want to still do something different, but I'm going to let it grow. This is my, my woman right here. Yeah. That's, my that's okay. Right there. Some of us can't go out and paint, you know, shirt, paint on our shirts. And, hey, this guy can't. And on my shorts. I almost bought you some shorts the other day. I got good shorts. I don't know if you got these kind of shorts that are actually more comfortable than athletic shorts. I have those. Well, I might not. I, know, I think I know what the ones you're talking about. I got those black ones that are really thin and good. It's just I like the waistband. I don't want a button. Oh, I know. And... I always feel you should be comfortable, and you're comfortable in those. Mm -hmm. I'm not comfortable in, in boots and jeans. I feel constricted if I wear pants, besides the big baggy gray ones that already got holes in the knees and stuff like that. I feel constricted wearing clothes that are form-fitting. Sounds weird, but I do. Well, I feel like it's these, like, if you see, aren't y'all can't see, but they're, they're, not, can't see. they're not form-fitted. But and they're I feel, relaxed. I feel they it. They just kind of hang. I feel it on my knees. And it's weird. I get it. I wore warm ups my junior year in high school. That's all I wore. And I mean, believe it. Warm ups. <clears throat> Senior year was parachute pants. That's all I wore. And those were restricting, but it worked for me. You know what I mean? Anyway. And I was the polo. Yeah. Nice. I mean. And, I, and I've kind of got away from that. Red Sea has kind of gotten me away from that because we wore shorts and a t-shirt. Shorts and a t-shirt. Trying to get the name out there. Trying to get the name out there. And, and it worked. And the brand. Of who and, and the brand. And it, it worked. But last week I, I, I dressed up a, a little more than normal. And it made me feel good. I think that's what you do. You know, I was sitting down at the bar and instead of the hobo sitting there, it's almost like all the people from out of town knew 
when Barry came up and talked to me or uh, Sam talked to Made me, you feel when I was in the t-shirt and shorts, I would probably get in that bar back to go get a beer. You know, the perception made you feel better. I guess. And people are like, that is a good point because people are like that. The perception of how you look makes you f how you feel. You know what I mean? Uh, for me, I feel like I look like a million bucks. I might look like three dollars, but I feel good. You feel good when you wear that. So that ain't nothing wrong with it. And people need to know that. That, But it drives you crazy if I show up on a Friday night in this outfit. You always make the same comment. I ain't dressed up for the occasion every <laughs> time. And I just want to go, yeah, damn right I did. I you just did. get used to it, buddy. Because it, it's not going to stop. And it makes you feel good when you're dressed up. But it's if you want me to go, dude, just wear some pants. Just, just one time. Wear some pants and a nice shirt and rings. Just... One time. And, and you have. And I do if we go like there, that. There's been an event stuff, or but. a signing or something and you get into character. Yeah. If you getting into character, it's not That's exactly you dressing right. up. I mean, the last time you went to uh, Margarita Salsa, Stephanie Maybe asked you to time. dress up a little bit more. And you look good. I mean, you really did. I mean, if you took that physique and put some clothes on it, I'm telling what kind of man you'd feel like. Shoot. <clears throat> it's hard to beat feeling great. Look at that. Man, we were going. No, down. Mark Cuban said, you wear what you want. Feeling good. Feeling good. Uh, he usually wears a suit. Who, Mark Cuban? Yeah. Yeah, he can do that. Except unless at the game. Yeah. Uh, Stephanie dropped her phone. You just went and got your phone. Stephanie dropped her phone yesterday. I told her. Why is it not in the case? Get a OtterBox case. She's like, no, my mom got me this for Christmas. One of them little old had her name on the back, fall, cracks the phone. So what do I got to do now? She wants an iPhone 7 Plus. So now I got to go. You get... can't keep, take care of the six you have. Yeah, that's exactly right. So frustrating. Like frustrating. I told her, I said, between her and Gracie, we might be living in a trailer house. And she can wear the clothes I wear. That's a good idea. I'm happy to do that. Yeah. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get her phone fixed, and she's going to get the i7 Plus. Thank you, Matt. Over at ATT, showing me what I need to do to get it done. Big shout out. And a shout out to Chance Hendricks. Because he said last night while bowling, because they bowl on mm -hmm. Tuesday. He is glad the morning show's back. He watches it at lunch. He's glad the morning show's back. Uh, Jason, Batman Fish, he watches it. Batman watches watch it. So, we are glad to bring you some entertainment. Or us talking. Or us talking. Uh, lunch special's already up. What is this Friday and Saturday at the backyard? Well, I'll just say chicken fried steaks. What I'm saying right here is all I'm saying. Brandon Jenkins. And he's Friday, right? Brandon Jenkins saying feet don't touch the ground. Okay. He, he wrote that for Stoney LaRue. Stoney LaRue. Y'all know that song. And he has a bunch of other songs that, that he's hit. But that, that's his that's hit his, song. Right. And he is a mason. Right. Judge Billy, shout out. So Mason's having a big convention, so they're going to allow him. He's singing for them, and everybody can come. It's a big open party. And Brett Hendricks is opening for him. Yep. Acoustic. I talked to Chance, told me that last <clears throat> night. So it, it'll be a good time. And then uh, Saturday, Eric Willis. Uh, yeah. If you haven't heard this guy sing, country with a lot of soul. He, if if he was on The Voice or something, he would be the one I'd want to win, because he has that raspy, make you feel it kind of voice. So anyway, both concerts I, I don't catch me in a lie, but I think they're only ten dollar cover. You can go to Facebook both of them or something like that. I don't know. I uh, so. First one maybe uh, fifteen, but I I don't know. But you can find us at Stubwire. Just type in Backyard Waco on stubwire.com. Man, we're going to get out of here. Have a wonderful day, man. Stay dry, stay warm. Until tomorrow, remember, like, watch, like it, share it. Appreciate it. Until tomorrow, I am Russ. This is Chris. We are out of here.